Hello, it's Nick, and today I want to talk about typography in UI design. Most websites and mobile apps are 90% text. That's why good typography is good design. And in this video, I want to talk about four essential plugins for Figma that allow us to improve typography systems. And Font Pair is the first plugin on our list. And as you probably guess, this plugin allows us to pair fonts. It allows us to choose the different fonts for headings and body text. And usually we go for the serif font for headings and sans serif for body text because it makes the text easier to read. And we can play with the different uh, fonts here until we find the one that we like. Or we can alternatively go to the old font pairings and choose the best from the list. And I think I will choose this one. The great thing is that this plugin uses Google fonts, so they are free to use. And we can also play with the different combinations. For example, I want to lock the font face, this one for the headings, and choose the different pair for only modifying the body text here. So until we find the best. Or we can also change the actual text. For example, see how our copy will look like with the font that we choose. For example, hello there. It's Nick and I'm happy to see you. So we can find the different pair for our specific copy. So once we find the fonts that we like, the next thing is to create a type scale. Type scale is a modular system that allows us to create a visual rhythm for our fonts. And this plugin called Type Scale allows us to create this scale. The most important settings here are base size and scale. Base size is a generally 14 pixels or 16 pixels, and they are most commonly used font size on your web or mobile app. And if you go for the 14 pixels, you typically design mobile app and 16 pixels work best for the website. Type scale defines how much the type will scales. And usually when you design mobile app or website, you go for the minor third. This is basically a multiplier between different scales in uh, this scale. And uh, if you want to make a more artistic choice, you will likely go for the golden ratio. Golden ratio creates a more drastic change between the sections. But again, if you design for UI, you typically go for the minor third because it works the best for UI design. And once you generate, it will generate the type scale systems that you can modify. And as we discussed, I will go for the body text for 16 pixels, body copy. And uh, I will choose 48 pixels as a heading, heading first, and we can also need to heading second, heading third, and heading fourth. So ultimately it's up to you to decide what exact uh, part of, of the scale you will use for the headings. It's, there are no right or wrong choices, so it's ultimately about your design first and about your artistic choices. But the uh, downside of the plugin is that it uses the different font. It uses Inter for the when creates the scale. And what if I want to see how my scale will look like using my own font? And I don't want, don't want to go manually and change each section here. There is a way to do that. And I will need to select all my layers and apply the plugin called Font Changer. This font changer basically selects uh, the font face that we want to modify and allow us to change it to the one that we choose from a list. For example, I will go for the San Francisco Pro and we'll simply replace it. So that's it. I replaced uh, the original font to the new one and my scale is aligned with my choices for the fonts. But Sometimes we need to conduct a visual analysis of how many different fonts we use because sometimes we might accidentally miss and uh, leave some fonts unchanged in our system. And the plugin called Font Fascia allows us to conduct an audit of the design and find the font names used in our design 
and along with the properties. So as you can see here, it shows us that we use San Francisco Pro Medium for our design, but we also use Inter. And Inter is used for the, this element, the one that we didn't modify when we changed the scale. So these were the four plugins that I want to discuss today and thank you.